Russia is a country with a harsh climate and an equally harsh penitentiary system. Over the past decades, we have witnessed how extreme weather conditions and the equally challenging living conditions in places of confinement shape the reality of thousands of inmates. Deep in Siberia, where winter can last most of the year, and in the remote corners of the European part of the country, there are facilities that stand out for their particularly severe conditions. Prisoners there often have to contend with issues such as overcrowding, inadequate medical care, and limited access to basic hygiene products. Polar Owl. This is one of the most terrifying places on the map of the Russian penal system. Officially known as IK-18, this prison is located in the far north, in the Kalima region, known for its brutal winters and extreme weather conditions. This facility was created for the most dangerous criminals, whose crimes evoke the greatest fear in society. Within the walls of Polar Owl, serial killers, rapists, terrorists, as well as political prisoners deemed a threat to the state, are held. This prison is the final stop for those considered irredeemable, and serving time in such a place is an additional form of torture. The conditions in Polar Owl are unimaginably harsh. In winter, temperatures regularly drop below minus 50 degrees Celsius, making life behind bars nearly unbearable. Prisoners are forced to survive in cramped, inadequately heated cells, where the cold penetrates the walls, and frostbite is a daily occurrence. The prison is undernourished, and meals are sparse, often lacking basic nutritional value. In such a climate, the lack of sufficient calories poses a serious threat to life. The guards, aware of these extreme conditions, use the cold as an additional means of pressure on the inmates. A strict regime prevails in Polar Owl, and any attempt at insubordination is brutally suppressed. Prisoners are subjected to constant surveillance, and interactions with other inmates are minimized. Isolation is a tool here, designed to break the spirit of even the most hardened criminals. Many of them spend long months in solitary confinement in dark cells without contact with the outside world, leading to deep psychological disorders. In Polar Owl, medical care is virtually unavailable. In cases of serious illness or frostbite, prisoners often die before they receive any assistance. The distance from civilization and the difficulties associated with transportation in these conditions mean that the delivery of medicines and other essential supplies is irregular and often delayed. The lack of contact with family, limited access to daylight, and harsh treatment by the guards cause prisoners to quickly lose hope of improving their situation. In Polar Owl, survival becomes the only goal. Each day is a battle against the cold, hunger, isolation, and the fear of what the next night will bring. For many prisoners, this facility is a place where the remnants of their humanity are ultimately crushed by brutal reality. In this remote corner of the world, far from civilization, nature and the prison system together create a hell on earth, from which few emerge unscathed, and for many, Polar Owl becomes a final sentence. White Swan, officially known as IK-2, this prison, located in the Perm region, is one of the most stringent correctional facilities in Russia, notorious for its ruthless approach to inmates. The name White Swan comes from a distinctive swan sculpture located on the prison grounds, but behind this seemingly peaceful symbol lies a reality filled with brutality and inhumane conditions. This prison is a place for the toughest cases, those whom the system deems irredeemable. Within its walls are housed serial killers, repeat offenders, members of organized crime groups, as well as prisoners who have shown rebellious tendencies in other facilities. For these individuals, White Swan becomes a place of ultimate punishment, where the goal is no longer rehabilitation, but complete subjugation. In White Swan, the daily life of prisoners is dictated by a strict regime. 
Every day is meticulously planned and inmates have no freedom whatsoever. The daily schedule is unchanging. Prisoners wake up, perform assigned tasks, eat meals and return to their cramped cells, all under the watchful eyes of the guards. In this place, every movement is controlled and any deviation from the rules is met with immediate and harsh consequences. Isolation is a key aspect of life in White Swan. Prisoners are kept in solitary confinement with limited contact with other inmates to prevent any attempts at organizing. Even the brief moments spent outside the cell, such as outdoor walks, are strictly regulated and monitored, and contact with family and the outside world is virtually non-existent. Visits are rare, and when they do occur, they take place in the presence of guards, further amplifying the sense of isolation. The conditions in White Swan are extremely harsh. Cells are cold and cramped with minimal access to daylight. Prisoners spend most of their time confined, which, combined with a monotonous diet and lack of any mental stimulation, leads to the deterioration of both physical and mental health. In such conditions, there is no room for hope or thoughts of the future. Each day is simply a struggle for survival. Guards in White Swan show no mercy. Violence, both physical and psychological, is commonplace. Prisoners who break the rules can expect immediate punishment, ranging from prolonged isolation to brutal disciplinary methods aimed at intimidation and total compliance. In these walls, any sign of rebellion is crushed with utmost severity, making this prison one of the most feared in the country. Black Dolphin One of the most terrifying and infamous prisons in Russia, officially known as Federal Prison IK-6. Located in the Orenburg region near the border with Kazakhstan, this prison has become synonymous with the ultimate form of punishment in the Russian penal system. In Black Dolphin, the most dangerous criminals in the country are held, serial killers, cannibals, terrorists, and those responsible for mass atrocities. Prisoners sent to this place are often considered too dangerous to serve their sentences in less secure facilities. This is a place where every aspect of life is controlled and supervised with the highest level of strictness. The conditions in Black Dolphin are merciless, and the life of inmates is reduced to routine and strict regimen, designed to completely break their will. Prisoners spend most of their day in small, cramped cells, which are monitored around the clock. Every move, every action, even the most mundane, is controlled by the guards. Inmates are forced to adopt specific positions during walks. They must move with their hands behind their backs and heads down, to prevent them from assessing their surroundings and planning an escape. Isolation in Black Dolphin is nearly absolute. Prisoners have minimal contact with the outside world and family visits are rare and limited to brief moments under strict supervision. Communication with other inmates is also tightly regulated. Prisoners are kept separate from one another to prevent any form of solidarity or rebellion. This isolation, combined with the strict regimen, often leads to severe psychological problems, including depression, paranoia, and other mental disorders, which are an inherent part of life in Black Dolphin. The punishment system in this prison is extremely severe. Every, even the smallest infraction, is punished, often brutally. Inmates are subjected to isolation in even harsher conditions or deprived of basic amenities, such as meals or access to a toilet. Psychological torture, such as prolonged sleep deprivation, is commonly used to break prisoners and keep them in a state of total subjugation. The diet of prisoners in Black Dolphin is meager, consisting mainly of simple, processed foods intended solely to keep them alive with no extras that could improve their quality of life. Meals are monotonous and lacking in nutritional value, which, combined with the lack of physical activity and extreme stress, leads to serious health problems. 
Inmates often suffer from various chronic illnesses that are not properly treated, leading to premature deaths. Butyrka. This prison has instilled fear and anxiety for centuries. Situated in the heart of Moscow, Butyrka has a long and dark history dating back to the Tsarist era. Today, it is one of the most well-known correctional facilities in Russia, infamous for its harsh conditions and the brutal reality faced by the inmates. In this place, where the walls are steeped in a history of repression and human suffering, the lives of prisoners are a daily struggle for survival. Butyrka, officially operating as Moscow Detention Center No. 2, houses both common criminals and political prisoners. In the past, its cells have held thousands of people, from opponents of the Tsar to victims of Stalin's purges. Today, Butyrka serves as a pre-trial detention center where prisoners await trials or verdicts, often for long months or even years, in conditions that have changed little since its founding. Daily life in Butyrka is characterized by overcrowding and cramped conditions. Cells that are meant to accommodate a few prisoners are often filled to capacity, forcing inmates to live in extremely uncomfortable conditions. The lack of space, minimal ventilation, and dampness make the air in the cells heavy and suffocating, and the lack of privacy only amplifies feelings of loneliness and despair. In such conditions, conflicts between inmates are inevitable, and violence becomes a daily occurrence. The guards in Butyrka are notorious for their brutality. In this prison, physical and psychological violence is a tool for maintaining order, and prisoners often become victims of abuse by the authorities. It is a place where fear is omnipresent and every day brings new challenges and threats. Prisoners cannot feel safe either in their cells or in the prison corridors, where even the slightest deviation from the norm can be met with a brutal response from the guards. The food provided to the prisoners is meager and lacking in nutrition. Meals are monotonous, low in protein and vitamins, leading to chronic malnutrition. In these conditions, the health of prisoners quickly deteriorates and diseases such as tuberculosis spread easily. Medical treatment is minimal and prisoners suffering from serious conditions often do not receive the necessary help, further deepening their suffering. The psychological burden of being in Butyrka is as overwhelming as the physical hardships. Many prisoners awaiting their verdicts spend long months in a state of constant uncertainty and isolation, leading to severe mental health issues. Depression, anxiety, and a sense of hopelessness are common, and few inmates leave Butyrka without lasting psychological scars. Matroskaya Tishina This prison, located in the northeastern part of Moscow, is one of the most secure and frequently mentioned facilities in the context of the Russian penal system. Although its name, Sailor's Silence, might evoke a sense of calm, the reality behind the walls of this facility is far from it. Matroskaya Tishina is a place where people awaiting trials are held, often accused of the most serious crimes, but also those whose cases are politically sensitive. For many inmates, being here is a true test of physical and mental endurance. The cells in Matroskaya Tishina are small, cold, and grim. Overcrowding is the norm. Prisoners often share limited space with many others, leading to constant tension. Sanitary conditions are far from ideal. Lack of proper ventilation and minimal access to daylight create a claustrophobic atmosphere that can lead to serious health problems over time. In these cramped, damp cells, inmates spend most of their day with only brief moments allowed for outdoor walks in the prison courtyard. The regime in Matroskaya Tishina is strict and unforgiving. Prisoners are constantly monitored and every movement is controlled. The guards do not hesitate to use violence, and brutality is a daily occurrence. Inmates who do not comply with the rules can be immediately punished, 
Solitary confinement and psychological violence are common disciplinary tools. In these conditions, there is no room for rebellion. Every day is dedicated to survival. The food provided to prisoners is meager and monotonous. Meals, based mainly on simple products, are lacking in essential nutrients, which quickly takes a toll on the inmate's health. Combined with the harsh living conditions, the monotonous diet leads to physical weakening and increases the risk of illness. Access to medical care is minimal. In the case of more serious conditions, prisoners often have to rely on luck rather than medical help. Isolation is one of the most challenging aspects of life in Matroskaya Tishina. Inmates have limited contact with their loved ones, and visits, if allowed at all, are conducted under strict supervision. This severance from the outside world and family deepens the sense of hopelessness that many prisoners experience throughout their stay in the prison. Vladimir Central This prison's name sends shivers down the spine of anyone familiar with its history. Located in the city of Vladimir, it is one of the most legendary penal institutions in Russia, known for its harsh conditions and unyielding regime. For those who end up within its walls, Vladimir Central becomes a place of unending struggle against a system that recognizes no compromises. The Russian authorities have long placed the most dangerous criminals here, as well as those considered enemies of the state. During Stalin's era, this prison was the site of execution for thousands of political prisoners, many of whom never left its confines. Today, Vladimir Central remains a maximum security prison where inmates are forced to live under extremely harsh conditions. The cells in Vladimir Central are small, cold, and devoid of comfort. Prisoners are crammed into tight spaces where the lack of room leads to growing tension and conflicts. The stark walls, minimal lighting, and pervasive cold create an atmosphere of despair and hopelessness. In such conditions, maintaining physical health is difficult and preserving mental health is even harder. Overcrowding is common and sanitary conditions fall far below acceptable standards. Life in Vladimir Central is governed by strict rules aimed at breaking the will of the inmates. Every day begins with a meticulously planned routine and any violation of this routine can result in immediate punishment. The guards do not hesitate to use violence and discipline is enforced with ironclad consistency. Inmates who attempt to resist are quickly suppressed, often with brutal methods. This is a place where there is no room for defiance, and each day serves as a reminder of the omnipresent control. The food provided to prisoners is simple and sparse. It consists mainly of basic products that barely sustain them. The lack of nutritional value in the diet, combined with the harsh living conditions, quickly leads to physical exhaustion. Medical treatment is limited, and prisoners who fall ill often have to fend for themselves without adequate assistance. Vladimir Central is also a place of deep isolation. Prisoners have limited contact with the outside world. Letters, phone calls, and visits are rare, and when they do occur, they are strictly monitored. This isolation, coupled with the brutality of daily life, leads to a profound sense of hopelessness. IK-6 in Mordovia. One of the harshest prisons in Russia, hidden in the dense forests of Mordovia, which for decades has instilled fear in those who know its reputation. Also known as the Black Swan, this prison is not just a place to serve a sentence. It is a factory where every day is a battle for survival. In IK-6, it is not just about serving time, but about confronting relentless brutality and a merciless regime that offers no respite. Life in IK-6 is dominated by hard labor. Prisoners are forced to work long hours in workshops, producing various goods, from clothing to metal components. The work is exhausting, often performed in primitive conditions where the lack of proper safety measures and protective gear is the norm. 
Every day begins at dawn and ends after dark, with only brief breaks for meager meals. This routine, repeated day after day, becomes an unending nightmare for prisoners, where physical exhaustion is coupled with mental fatigue. The cells in IK-6 are claustrophobic, dark and cold. Spaces that should accommodate a few individuals are often filled to capacity, leading to constant tension and conflicts. Sanitary conditions are primitive, access to running water is limited, and ventilation is virtually non-existent. Dampness, staleness, and cold are constant companions for the prisoners, who are forced to share this confined space for years. These conditions lead to frequent illnesses, which are not properly treated, further worsening the inmate situation. The regime in IK-6 is ruthless. The guards use violence as a tool of control, and anyone who dares to break the rules faces a brutal response. Physical violence, isolation, and humiliation are just some of the methods used to break the will of the prisoners. The guards wield nearly unlimited power, and their actions often go unchecked. In these walls, there is no room for defiance. Anyone who tries to rebel quickly learns that in IK-6, rebellion is not an option. Contact with the outside world in IK-6 is nearly non-existent. Prisoners are cut off from their loved ones. Visits are rare, and correspondence is strictly monitored. This severance from family and friends deepens the sense of loneliness and hopelessness that follows prisoners at every turn. For many of them, life in IK-6 becomes an existence in a void, where each day is the same and the future seems non-existent.